everyone, welcome back to another weather update. We have three important features on the weather map to uh, mention. Number one, there's a low pressure system which is currently moving east uh, over the Great Lakes. And it's bringing with it a cold front which is uh, bringing rain as well as uh, snow squalls over the northeast. So anybody traveling uh, to that area would need to um, put on emergency wipers and watch for uh, heavy rain. The second feature I would like to notice would be the low pressure system which is off the coast of California. That is bringing with it uh, rain as well as uh, a chance of snow over the Sierra Nevada mountains in California. And, uh, and I would also like to mention that there is a uh, low pressure system forming over the, the Rocky Mountains. That is expected to uh, move east um, over the Rocky Mountains and reach the Great Plains by uh, Friday. Uh, increase in, by Friday and Saturday, there might be an increased chance of uh, severe weather, such as uh, heavy rain, uh, small hail, and even tornadoes uh, in the Great Plains. So I would like to, oh, I would um, like to mention you might need to watch the the weather of, over the next couple of days to see if that situation develops any further. The third, the third feature I'd like to mention would be the frontal boundary, which is currently uh, over Florida. That is a, a cold front that is slowly moving across our state and bringing with it um, cloudy conditions as well as uh, rain. Um, there's no rain by my house yet. I live in Punta Gorda, unfortunately, but there is, but there is a chance of a rain. Um, in our area over the next uh, few hours. And by tomorrow morning, things should uh, clear out as the cold front uh, moves through our states. Alright, and for our 7 day forecast for Punta Gorda Charlotte County Airport, we have uh, fair conditions with a temperature of 77 degrees Fahrenheit for tonight. The current humidity is 69% and the visibility is 10 miles with the wind speed at northwest at 8 miles per hour. As I mentioned previously, we have a cold front moving through our area. So that will increase our chances of showers by 40% for tonight. Those uh, showers will give way to uh, mostly cloudy conditions for by midnight. Then by Thursday morning, as the cold front clears out, uh, we have sunny conditions for Thursday and Friday during the day. With temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, and for Thursday night, we have mostly clear conditions with a low of 64 degrees Fahrenheit. For Friday night, the clouds will come in again a little bit, but will still be partly cloudy for, with a low of 66 degrees Fahrenheit. For Saturday and Sunday, we'll have mostly, mostly sunny conditions with highs in the mid to upper 80s. And uh, for Saturday night and Sunday night, we'll, be, we'll have partly cloudy conditions with lows in the mid to upper 60s. Alright, now to uh, severe weather. For right now, we don't have any uh, severe thunderstorms forecast for our area or anywhere in the country. And that is going to be the case over the next couple of days, which is good news. However, on Friday, as I mentioned previously, there is a risk of a severe weather over the Great Plains. And the National Weather, National weather Service has, um, is, has uh, said that potentially, potentially intense and widespread severe thunderstorms are expected Friday afternoon into the overnight hours across portions of the middle Mississippi Valley and uh, mid-south vicinity. East into the into eastward into the lower Ohio and Tennessee valleys. So from the Ohio River Valley across all the way down south to, to towards um, Mississippi and Alabama, those areas are expected to have uh, damaging wind gusts and uh, possible even tor possibly tornadoes on Friday on Friday afternoon and um, overnight and over overnight hours. So we'll have to watch that area for the potential of severe weather. I know last week that area did have a uh, severe weather outbreak and which spawned several tornadoes and as well as damaging winds. So we're hoping to not have a repeat of that um, this Friday, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the weather update.